Stop your addiction to misery. Start creating art. In a movie, there's always a protagonist, a villain, a conflict, a climax, and a resolution. The actors play their roles all day when they're filming, wearing their outfits, reading their lines, and wearing the makeup and playing their part. At the end of the day, they take off their makeup, they take off their costumes, and they put on their makeup and on their costumes to play the role that they have in real life. We're all unpaid actors in some giant script that we didn't write with a beginning, a middle, and an end. We play out the story of our lives every single day with our families, friends, coworkers, hashing out the past and all of our past problems and all of our anxieties about the future. Our attachment to the story is our attachment to our thoughts which are full of dialogues, narratives, scenarios. These stories distract us from our highest gifts and interests. They take away from our ability to create art and alchemize and heal. It keeps us in a loop of consistent and pervasive chaos. We spend the time that we could use to create art to wallow and fear. We must ask ourselves, what are we trying to prove with this story? The answer is usually that we're trying to prove that we have been hurt by someone or something. We want those that hurt us to feel as guilty and as terrible for what they have done to us as we feel. We go to great lengths just to be able to imagine that someone else feels guilty about what they did. We give up on creating art so we can actively display our hurt. This story starts to run our lives. We do everything to prove that we're hurt, even when we are completely alone in our rooms. No one can see us, no one can see that we're hurting, yet we continue to rot in our beds, riddled with pain and anxiety over what someone did to us, running over the narrative again and again, playing out the dialogues, using our mind's eye to watch the scenario in our brains repeatedly, dreaming about it, thinking about it constantly. We are doing all of this to ensure that we are better than the others. We're right, they're wrong. We drag the stories along with every expression of ourselves throughout the entire day in each moment of now, throughout our whole lives for some people. The narrative keeps getting deeper and deeper and worse and worse and worse and more drama and less good and more bad. We think, we analyze, judge, criticize, gossip, make amends, all day and again and again and again with everyone we come into contact with and even when we're by ourselves just playing the part and feeling the pain a lot of artists i notice attach their art to these narratives as well their miserable life experience becomes the means for which they create it becomes their artist statement when they're happy in life when everything's going well they experience art block when they rely on their pain to produce art they actively search out pain they exploit their pain to gain monetary value their lives become a miserable mess in the name of having miserable art. They re-traumatize themselves to gain the interest of their audience, right? I had this traumatic experience when I was a kid and now all of my art has to do with my healing from said awful experience. And then their art career is now attached to the miserable thing that happened to them when they were a kid. And reiterating and re-traumatizing themselves every chance they get. These artists, though, are not alone. People all over the world every single day try to prove some that someone abused them, carrying sorrow, that no one loved them, no one cared, no one knew them, 
No one cared to know them. They were all alone. They were left in the dust. And these people then feel justified for destroying the happiness of those that hurt them. Like, feeling justified of placing guilt onto them. They hurt me so I can do whatever I want to them. And I want them to suffer. The only sufferer, though, in this scenario is the person placing the guilt on the other because they are actively trying to prove how badly they're suffering so that the person will feel guilty so therefore they're the only one suffering what would happen if we just gave this up what would we fill our time with if it if our time was void of drama if it was void of narrative if it was void of conflicts what would what would we do with our time there wouldn't be anything to entertain us naturally in the instead we become creative the time becomes available to us and the mind becomes clear the expression comes forth we create our best work when we're focusing and when our mind is clear and we're expressing the parts of us that do get muted by the past and by the future when we are constantly going over it in our minds our true selves in the now gets muted why would we spend these present moments conjuring up past scenarios that don't exist unless you think about them when we could be painting drawing sewing singing playing an instrument um reading writing you name it i used to feel also as though when I met a new friend, right, I would have to fill them in on everything and tell them all the steps that it took me to get here, it took me to get to who I am today. All the pain, all the suffering, all the things that I was a victim to and my family life and so that they'd think well of me, so that they would respect me, so that they'd feel sorry for me, so that they'd honor me for how strong I am for having gone through all these things so that they would understand that the things that I paint aren't just beautiful women to be beautiful women. It comes from a place of pain. It's not just beauty and aesthetics. And like, I was just always trying to prove that so that they would respect and appreciate my art in the way that I felt that they should. I didn't realize that all this was doing was making me into a character and attaching my identity and my art's identity to what happened to me. And people who don't know who they truly are do this and therefore are very controlled by reward and punishment. The reward of the admiration and the punishment of the lack thereof kept me coming back for more. And I told I therefore told my story again and again and again to all these different people, crying, mourning, ruining my life for this fleeting validation of them thinking, wow, she she went through a lot. Like, we, she deserves love, you know? She deserves respect, all this stuff. The story only became longer and deeper because I needed more and more and more narrative to get that same rewarding feeling. When nothing negative was currently happening in my life, I felt confused, I began creating my own problems, or festering in the past in ways that were like so tired, like I didn't even really feel sad, but yet I'm crying. Like, this was so long ago, but yeah, I feel like it happened yesterday. Um, it just ne- it wasn't serving me and i it was driving me crazy it was like what am i still how could i possibly still be sad about this like i already worked through that i already get it like my brain has fully wrapped around it like i get it it's the, it's just we're going in a circle at this point and i felt bewildered by how the heck do i get out of this what am i doing with my life like why am i being such a pain to myself like not even to someone else Why am I being so painful to me, for me to be around? The way out, (laughs) the way out is through realization that you have life within you and life is who you are. We are all artists as well. So creation is who we are. 
investing in your knowledge, spirituality, and the art you create is how you escape the perpetual. The knowledge should not be there to memorize it, to pass some kind of test, but rather for clues, find out more about you. Like, what do you like? What do you find interesting? What do you want to express? Who are you? you figure out it's like little clues to figuring that out you find out what works for you so that you can remember how to get back to you in each moment the key though is to apply this knowledge in your daily life for in each moment you have a fresh start in each moment you can either choose to live in your story and your past fear of the future or you can choose to create you can choose to be and you can choose to exist just as you are and you find that this is like actually the most blissful state that you can be in with the most pleasure because it's you and you're with you and how wonderful is that and it's just it just is like a feeling unlike any other and I recommend it to anyone listening the joy of being fully present basically Every second, you have the full potential and the full power to attain anything that you want. In each moment, you can also create your life's work. You can chip away at it moment to moment to moment. Use your brain and your thinking power to think about what do I want to make? How does this tie all together? Who am I? How can I express myself more? But only, only, you can only do this if you are willing to give up making everyone else wrong and give up trying to prove that you have been hurt or harmed to every person you meet and just let it go, get over it. It happened. That's all that happened was that it happened and it's not happening now. So it's not happening now. You're not in that place right now anymore. You do not have to carry the heavy backpack of your story clogging all of your beautiful experiences in front of you with what happened before and fears of what will happen. You are not your story. (laughs) You are not a character. You're just an actor in the roles you have to play. When you are who you are, you still have roles to play because you have to go to work and because you have to make money so that you can be comfortable in a space where you can be most yourself where you can feel like you can actualize yourself in each moment. So in order to do that, you have to make some money and go to work. So if your work is not specifically attached to your overall purpose in life, like say you're just like a valet at a restaurant, right? And this can seem like, how am I supposed to live in a blissful state when I'm just taking people's cars and giving them a ticket. You can bring forth your highest self. You can be present in each moment with each person that pulls up, that you take the car from, that you give the ticket to, and treat every moment like an opportunity to bring forth your divine self and do your divine work. Because you can still have connections and and beautiful moments with people even when you're a waiter or a school teacher or anything that say isn't your most ideal situation but you have to go you bring yourself into the role of whatever it is you might you have to do that day and not because the place you're working at deserves all of you I've gotten into a situation when I'm at work when I don't want to be there it's like always because like I'm not getting paid enough the the company doesn't deserve me and all of this stuff, but it's not that the company deserves you for any reason. It's that you deserve you. You, in each and every moment, deserve to have you with you, really who you are and what you like to do and what you prefer to say and how you like to stand up for yourself and all of the above and whatever makes you you in each moment it's because you deserve to be with that not the company who cares just choose the path of love and choose life we do this by realizing that we can't get any better than we already are if it's a skill like say you're drawing 
a lot and yes you can get more skilled at certain things in art like becoming more of a hyper realistic drawer your art will always be the same amount of beautiful that's the beautiful thing about art and life you always were you always will be and you are right now as beautiful as you'll ever be and there is no tier to whose life is more beautiful or whose art is more beautiful because it's all subjective and that's the beautiful thing about it is it will never get better (laughs) that's funny like because people always say it will get better but I'm just saying like it never gets better because it already is it already is better it already is the best when you give up your story and you give up all the illusionary layers of what this person did and what that person did and why this is the way that I am and this is why I'm so miserable all is possible to you when you give this up all is possible for your art.